I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a simplified version of the steam engine. Let's write this on top. Steam engine in England in 1775. Why are we doing this? Because down here, this is the beginning of learning about energy, technology, and most importantly, the Industrial Revolution. And who was important in the development of the steam engine? The gentleman we're going to do right now. Take one finger up here on the right and underneath let's put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a curve line up Curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, and connect. Right here on the right, we're just going to draw a curve, I mean the left, curve line down, in, connect, come over to that point right here. Now we're going to draw towards the left, I mean towards the right, curve line, curve line, up, and connect. Right down here, we're just going to draw wavy, wavy, wavy line up, connect, and then we're going to draw curve line down on the left, curve line down on the right, slightly curve line over, connect. Come on, the inside space, draw one, two curve lines, one, two straight lines, one, two dots underneath, in the center, diagonal, curve line, straight line, down below, curve line up, down, curve line. Who is this? This is James Watt. He didn't invent the steam engine, but he perfected it so that it could be used. All right, starting way over here on the left, up to the top, let's take one finger and put a dot. Now this is all simplified. When you look at a picture of a real steam engine, you'll see how complicated it is. But we're just going to do a simple version. So we're at that dot, at the dot, draw a straight line down, straight line over, leave it floating. Come back to the dot. Straight line over, straight diagonal down, and leave that floating. Come over here to the bottom part. We're going to draw a straight line up, straight line over, straight diagonal down, and leave that floating. Come back over here to the top. We're going to draw one, two, three little straight lines. Come over to this end on the right. One, two, three little straight lines. Come up to the top, we're going to draw a straight line over, straight diagonal up, straight line over, straight diagonal down, and leave it floating. Okay. Now we come back over here to this section right here, and we're going to draw a circle and connect. And inside we're going to draw a baby circle, and we're going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six little straight lines, and then on the edge we're going to just draw a zigzag, 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 connect. Okay, now we come back over to this space right here. Starting right about here, let's draw a big curved line until we crash into that. Jump over. Big curve line down and over. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and connect. Right about here, we're going to draw a curve line, jump over, curve line, connect. Come on the inside, curve line, jump over, curve line, connect. Right about 
here we're going to draw one, two straight lines, 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 and I think that's all. Now come in and just draw slightly curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line, slightly curved line. Now come to the edge and we're going to do zigzag, 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 all the way around. Keep going. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Bring it up. Zigzag. Jump over. Now do the top. Zigzag, 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 and connect. Okay. Now come down to the bottom and we're going to draw one slightly curved line, straight line up, one, two, three straight lines up, straight diagonal, slightly curved line, straight diagonal up. Come back over here to the first one and just draw skinny line, straight line across. You can see there's a lot going on here in this machine. <clears throat> okay, now come back over here to this space. First thing you're going to do is draw me a flat oval and we're going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come down here to the bottom, we're going to draw another flat oval, flat oval, and leave those floating. Okay, come back over here to this, draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Come up to the corner, straight line down, straight line up, connect. Let's put one, two, three straight lines, two baby circles right there. Now come to our floater, straight line down, straight line down, straight line across. Come over here to the left, straight line, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Come back over here, let's finish this off. Straight line, straight line down, down, down. And we're gonna put a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come up, we're gonna draw a straight line, straight line, straight line down, connect. Come over to this one, straight line, straight line. Now, if some of your lines don't connect, don't worry about it. There's so many lines going on here. One, two straight lines. One, we'll explain it when we get done. Two straight lines. Okay. Now, we're going to add some more straight lines. Watch what I do. Come up to the top and add me one straight line. Two straight lines. Now draw me one, two straight lines. Jump over one, two straight lines. Come over here to this space, we're going to draw a curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect. Come over here to these little ones, curve line connect, curve line connect, jump over, curve line connect, curve line connect. Now come back over here, we're just going to draw one, two straight lines going down, and I think that might be all, but I could be wrong. Let's see, it looks good, looks okay. I might add one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, five. I think I need one more. Maybe that's what this would, would have been. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it alone. Okay, let's see what this looks like once, no, let's see how we're gonna color this in. Everybody's gonna have to let me know if they could color this in any better than I am because all I'm going to do is color in this space so that you know that this is James Watts suit and I'm going to take my red crayon and just put a border because my steam engine is so intense and there's so many textures going on that I almost don't want to goof it up coloring this whole wheel 
is going to go around and around. This little wheel goes around and around. All of these are pumps that go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. He figured it all out. So let's see what mine looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Simplify steam engine all colored in. Hopefully it looks okay. Okay, bye-bye.